Simeo Student Competition 2022 Platform Supply Vessel Logistics project is going to be presented on behalf of Team 2. So in this project, so in this project there are some agendas that I'm going to present first. The problem summary, the data analysis, the model assumptions, the actual simulation model, then the discussion of the results on the experiment, and at the last the recommendation of the conclusion. So for the introduction is that uh, there is an offshore vessel company that uh, perform several supply uh, supply vessel to fulfill the cargo demand of four rigs and the whole operation has several constraints and uncertainties which makes it very complex so the so the decision makers inside the company wants to uh, overcome these shortcomings while considering all the uh, uh, constraints and uncertainties and build a cost effective and high uh, build a cost effective solution so their key performance indicators are like cost waiting time utilization and lead time there are some input parameters like the cargo information, cargo type, the ports, uh, the material, the vessel, vessel type, vessel uses cost, fuel, this type of thing, and also the weather, the information on weather, cost, and the destination. So from the, uh, it, uh, from the demand log that was given to the project, uh, it was analyzed to get the demand for each of the material that is traveling from one origin port to a specific destination. And these are all defined in Appendix A. For, uh, for example, one of the one of the casing for uh, demand for casing from Alpharic that is going to uh, al uh, that is going to Alpharic is and follows an random dot Poisson distribution, and also the interval time which is the frequency for demand for each of the material was found also from the log file. The route selection was done also from the log file and it is uh, defined in Appendix C. The travel path was also from the competition description file and the desired speed was also collected from there. Thus, there are some uh, specific assumptions to the simulation model, such as there are only two ports considered. Each material entity have the state variable to de declare the demand quantity. Weapons are considered as nodes. There, as uh, the demand block file contains only one type of ship, it is uh, the model also considered for one type of ship. This is the actual model, simulation model. The points are considered uh, points are inputted as the latitude, longitude of the uh, uh, of the actual actual map and based on that uh, the whole model is constructed so from point a to point b the distance is actual distance uh, which is uh, the actual uh, real world distance so in the simulation model there are entities combiners separators and nodes entities are materials and ship combiners are ports separators are rigs and nodes are considered as waypoints the paths is to connect the uh, nodes so the actual distance of the path defines the actual distance and the materials are unloaded into the separator and then material goes to the sink. The materials is loaded in the combiner which is considered as port and the uh, separators are considered as rig. Uh, both ports and the separator has unique servers which generates material embedded with different information. The travel path for every ship is defined in several sequence tables according to the particular destination which is in appendix. Define entities for materials. Now, materials are defined as entities, and uh, there are two state variables. One defines the which destination it is going, and another one the demand quantity for the material. And uh, based on the destination, the demand varies, the demand distribution varies, and interval time also varies between different destinations. The defined entities for, for ships, entities are also defined. Uh, it, the, it contains one state, uh, one state variable, where should it go? And on the uh, it it creates once uh, once from the combiner a ship exists it creates another entity ship. And uh, for the validation purpose, red color ship goes to the Charlie rig, yellow color goes to the Delta rig, green and alpha goes to the Beta rig. For uh, ports, uh, they find as combiners. Uh, in the parent input, as you can see, the decided step decides which destination it should go, and the set row is defines um, the set row function defines which sequence step it have to follow, and the assigned step, the color of the end ship is defined. Uh, the parent input add-on process. So as long as soon as the ship enters the parent input, the, the this is defined. For example, the green ship is going to the Rotterdam port to Alpha Rig, and blue one is going to the Beta Rig. To define the ports, uh, the sequence, uh, first of all, uh, it is defined in a way. Basically, it will happen that materials for a specific destination will only be based on a ship going to the exact same location. Define uh, and the ports, uh, there, there are two types of, in, uh, two, two systems are available to check the volume and also uh, check the uh, processing time. 
so the volume is checked by a event state variable event state variable that uh, checks after certain uh, time if uh, when members are passed into the ship uh, the uh, volume increases uh, after it and uh, the rigs separators are also considered uh, as the rigs uh, their processing time is the unloading time uh, here materials are unloaded and goes to the sink and the ship uh, goes back to the origin port the waypoints uh, and and the spe speed is defined as model interior desired speed according to the uh, instructions that are given now the experiment one experiment was defined in the model with four response variable and six control variables the control variables are demand quantity and interval time for dry bulk casing liquid and fuel item from rotorum port and hamper port the response variable are cost for each of the ports and average utilization of the ports uh, and scenario one contains the data retrieved from the actual data retrieved from the demand analysis log file and rest of the two uh, rest of the two scenario contains uh, random data which are generated as you can see utilization of both ports uh, for rotterdam port utilization as you can see for scenario one it is very low which is around 65 percent and for scenario two and three it's close to 90 percent which is very good and, and on the other hand the hamburg port utilization is very lower than the rotterdam port it is close to around four to five percent four to five percent utilization which is very low and reason because is that it has a lot of uneven demand distribution between the ports and also the cost is that the Rotterdam ports cost significantly much higher than the uh, Hamburg port and also for scenario one uh, uh, scenario two three and but for the Hamburg port cost uh, for scenario two and three it is significantly lesser from the discussion we can see that uh, from the we can see that by reducing the interval time for Rotterdam port there is a significant increase utilization from 65 to 90 percent which is very good while the Hamburg port there is also an increase utilization but it is lower than the Rotterdam port from the results it is also clear that Rotterdam port is costlier than Hamburg port in all scenarios however Hamburg port cost significantly decreases in scenario two and three because of decrease in demand and interval time now our recommendation is that decision makers can significantly increase the utilization for the Rotterdam port just by readdressing the demand frequency which is the interval time for the materials and also the quantity and additionally adjusting the material demand quantity in both ports can be balanced and the supply chain uh, can be made profitable just by balancing the whole thing in appendix a here is the demand distribution for different ports to for for different materials from different origin port to different materials and appendix b has the interval time for uh, different materials appendix c has the uh, probability for going from one port to another port from origin port to a particular day and the sequence table for going to a particular day. so this is our uh, actual model uh, for the simulation model uh, this is our actual simulation model uh, which is shows here uh, which I have we have discussed earlier as you can see uh, this uh, as you can see this green ship is going and the experiment we can see the response results for different types of utilization and results thank you